The intervention does not want to see humanity unite in facing the greater community. Therefore, human conflict will be encouraged, particularly by those hybridized individuals who have assumed positions in advising human leaders. It is their advising roles that have the most influence here. These are not individuals that you will see, for they are not public, they are hidden and well placed. However, they have their opponents within governments. For there is a struggle going on within the secret corridors of government. And that is why the intervention has sought to influence commercial powers even more than government officials. For commercial powers are governed by greed. They seek wealth, power, predominance and advantage over their rivals. They do not have public scrutiny and are not accountable to people at large. And so they are much more likely candidates for the plan of the intervention to gain human representatives and human liaisons. Human unity will be opposed by the intervention. For a united humanity will oppose intervention. It will become increasingly resistant to any attempt by any foreign power to gain access or advantage here. That is why the emphasis for the intervention is to amplify human crises, human conflicts, human disagreements and to encourage the proliferation of weapons. To lead humanity further in its own self-determined path of destruction. A weakened humanity will be vulnerable to persuasion, and a weakened humanity will be more likely to respond to offers of technology, to offers of assistance in governance and to offers of becoming connected to trade networks that already exist in the universe. If humanity declines, it will be hard for either your leaders or your peoples to turn down offers of technology and resources that will be provided for you and offers that will surely undermine your self-determination and make you dependent upon networks of trade, commerce and power over which you will have no influence or control. These activities are not evil, in the sense that you might think they represent competition, and competition is part of nature. If you are to be powerful, others will compete with you. If you possess wealth, others will compete with you for this wealth. If you misuse the world, others will seek to take advantage of this for themselves. And if you remain divided, others will try to use that to their advantage. Regarding resource depletion, the intervention will support the overuse of those resources that you rely upon for your basic energy requirements, for they do not need these resources. The depletion of these resources will further hasten humanity's conflicts and decline. Therefore, the overuse of such resources in people's desire to maintain their current behavior will be encouraged. A foreign agent here would need only encourage you to do what you have been doing all along for practical reasons to maintain wealth and power, to maintain your nation's stability and to maintain its predominance over other nations. These agents will provide this advice to your leaders and especially to the leaders in commerce who always will seek profit and advantage. Since the intervention represents commercial forces, they are particularly focused on aligning themselves with human commercial forces in your world. Here they share a common purpose and many common methods and they can appeal to individuals who have this focus and this intent, who amongst the powerful and the elite in your commerce and trade within this world could refuse the offer of advanced technology and refuse the offer of proprietary rights to something that none of their rivals possesses, who could refuse the opportunity to engage in trade and commerce with powerful forces beyond this world. Leaders in commerce are not accountable to the public, to the people of your world. They are not scrutinized. Their positions are secure. They do not need to win public favor in order to proceed in their search for power. Who amongst them will refuse the offers of advanced technology and trade with other nations and the wealth, power and advantage that such engagements might promise? Even your religious leaders will be encouraged to align themselves with the intervention. They will be encouraged to believe that the intervention represents advanced life forms, morally and ethically advanced beyond anything that humanity has established and that humanity must turn to them now for inspiration and for guidance. 
These religious leaders will be led to believe that the intervention is here as an act of providence, an act of God, to safeguard humanity and to assure its future. It is their beliefs and their emphasis that will be exploited here, for they are not able to see clearly and discern the meaning and the reality of the greater community. Amongst those who are rebellious and who seek to foster revolution, the intervention will give them inspiration. It can whisper in their minds. It can present images in front of them, images of their saints, images of their gods, images of the righteousness of their cause. Those individuals who cannot distinguish a greater community presents from a spiritual manifestation will not be able to resist. Now they will feel they have divine will and support for their political goals. Now they will feel justified in taking any action, no matter how destructive, in order to fulfill their beliefs and their sense of justice. None of these inspirations comes from a divine source. For the creator of the universe would never support human conflict but for a conflicted race of beings living in a beautiful world that is valued by others. This conflict represents a critical advantage to an intervening force. Here a much smaller force can overwhelm a much greater force. The collectives are a very small presence in the world and yet they can have great advantage here encouraging governments to take actions not in their best interests and encouraging conflicts that will only lead both sides to a greater decline and impoverishment. They can promote the use of the world's resources in such a way that would only lead to humanity's decline and the collapse of societies and even civilization itself. The intervention is exploiting your weakness, and that is why you must cultivate your strength. You must see that your predispositions towards conflict and division are inherently self-destructive and render your position weak and vulnerable in the face of the greater community. Human unity and cooperation will be essential for humanity's future if you are to remain and to grow as a free race of peoples in the universe. The intervention will oppose this, for that will counter its goals and even its presence here in this world. Regarding the issue of discretion, the intervention wants to know everything about you how to govern your views, how to motivate your feelings, how to stimulate your emotions, how to make you behave in the ways that it wants you to behave. For control of the human mind and perception is essential to its ultimate goals of governance in this world. Human discretion therefore runs counter to the intervention's objectives and will be discouraged. Only in keeping the intervention's secrets will humanity's discretion be supported only in hiding its agenda and forgetting what individuals have been told and the often brutal experiments that they have been subjected to as they were taken from their homes and their families against their will. Here forgetfulness will be encouraged even with threats of violence. The intervention does not want the human population to know its real activities and its real intent. It does not want to see humanity become more powerful. It does not want to see humanity gain insulation from the greater community. For the intervention is here to establish dependence and cooperation. This is their pathway to success. A pathway that is not being sufficiently resisted within your own world. The power of knowledge is the sacred intelligence placed within each individual. The power of knowledge is unknown to the intervention for if it were known there would be no intervention, and such an ethical behavior would not be attempted. The greater powers of humanity are not being used, and humanity is being encouraged to behave in ways that are not in its best interests.